Hey guys, so today we're talking all about sunglasses for summer. Hey guys, welcome back to Gen Slounge. I'm George, this is Blake. Today we're gonna to talk about our most complimented sunglasses of summer. So we put out a sunglass video last year which was the six brands you need to know about this summer. And some of those brands have made a reappearance, but today we're talking about some new ones and we're gonna have a little fun with it. All right guys, so this year's sunglasses are a little bit more subtle than the past, okay? Usually we have like reflective lenses, we have like color frames. I think right here we only have about two sunglasses that are actually bold. These are all pretty much subtle. I mean, like our style, our sunglass styles change and they evolve. And I guess year to year, you know, with trends and just, you know, cause we're getting older, you know, our styles change. All right guys, so first up we have these right here that are by Gucci. They're not quite translucent or clear frame. They're more of a, like a yellowish color yeah. copper, right? Like a pair of Jordans that have been sitting out for a long time. You know what, dude? These do look like, you, you know the Jordans when they- Yeah, when they have a clear sole and then oh they've been yeah. out for a long time. Yeah, I mean, dude, great freaking color. Yeah, anyway. <laughs> Anyways, guys, so these are by Gucci. Uh, they're more of a summer glasses. Um, I wouldn't typically wear these with a suit. More of a casual outfit. Today's outfit, I think, is casual, so these would go perfect for it. I mean, I mean, these, these are total summer glass. All right, so I'm gonna jump on the same train. These ones are actually, these are, these are new Jordans. Yeah, so with the clear Jordan. soles. Um, but they do have the reflective lenses, which makes them a little more fun. Um, I think these are more popular in Asia to with the clear translucent lenses, and they're kind of making their way over here. So if you guys wanna be in front of the trend, jump on it right now, hint, yep. hint. There's, oh shit. What is that? The building's on fire. What happened, dude? I don't know. So do you think it's it was real? Or? Yeah, I think it was an accident. Someone tripped the alarm. Well, if we burn down, this is our last video. If someone finds this, please edit it and upload it to jenslounge.com. Our password is... Um, I wouldn't wear these with a suit either, like Blake said. Um, these are more very, very casual for me. Kind of perfect with this How, outfit. Yeah, hey, I think it goes Actually, with that, right? I, think I mean, I wore them in Italy with a denim jacket and a button down, and they kind of fit just, you know, like a day at the pool kind of vibe. I don't even, I, mean, I was gonna say I wouldn't wear these at night, but you shouldn't wear any sunglasses at night. Um, up next, these guys made our list last year and they were the most popular ones that we talked about last year. So they're still gonna be on this list because they still make them and I still wear them every summer. These are by Crew. Um, they have a really cool little gold accent across the bridge of the glasses and it's a nice tortoise Frame. Yeah, these are cool. These are more of like your hipster type sunglasses, but hipster means like upscale. It's cool. But like I wear these with a suit and casual. Yeah, yeah I think because of the metal frame. And you know, these are a little bit more, um, they're like sophisticated without being, you know, obnoxiously like. They're not too loud. loud. They yes. make a statement. They have enough pop to yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they don't say, or they don't scream, look at me and how cool I'm trying. And they're, to be. they're, they're not quite round. Yeah. But they, you know, the shape overall is round, but I think with the bar in the middle, it makes it more of like a square type sunglass. Now to go along with George's glasses, I, I have these by Canali. So Canali just recently launched, they like a full range of sunglasses. I think they have like five or six pair. They're a little bit more on the higher end side. So they are about four to 500 bucks, but dude, they are sick. So most sunglasses are made by the same company. One company in Lazada that makes everybody. These are made by a small independent brand in Italy. So like their suits, they're very, very uh, tailored, I guess you could say. I feel like they go more, they go better dressed up. They're classy. I mean, this is kind of, I picture someone sitting on a yacht wearing these sunglasses, you know what I'm saying? But they're not so loud that the sides are so thick and so gold, like the obnoxious, no, no, you no. know, thick, thick, thick. So these aren't like your Versace glasses, right? right? They're not like the look at me, they're more subtle, but with a pop. I know I, I say that a lot, but these are them. All right, guys, we digress. Um, Blake has three pairs of sunglasses, I have four, but I'm gonna lump the next two into one category because they're made by the same people. So I just wanna talk about, these have been my new favorite sunglasses of summer, and if you look at my Instagram, I'm pretty much wearing them in almost every photo that I have sunglasses on. But these are by True Vintage Revival, and what's awesome about this company is they pretty much are all handmade in Japan and what they've been doing is going through all the sunglass factories in Japan that have been closing and shutting down and buying all the vintage acetate okay. and the vintage plans. These guys are handmade in Japan. I, don't quote me on this, but I'm pretty sure they told me that it takes about 
100 hours to make one pair of sunglasses. So these are not cheap, but you do get kind of vintage acetate and a vintage frame that was from the 1960s or 1970s, wherever they got the plans wow. from. And it is, I mean, truly one of a kind glasses. They fit really well. And I get so many compliments on the frame size. I mean, to me, when I, honestly, when I first saw them online, they look like a Ray-Ban or a normal. Like a, yeah, I mean, when I see them, I, I see, I think of like a, like a classic Wayfair. Right. right. But when I wear them, I have never gotten compliments on Ray-Bans the way I get compliments on these glasses. It's unbelievable. So this is my first time seeing these glasses. Um, I thought they were vintage. I honestly didn't know. Have you told me about these? Uh, I think so. I don't know, dude. We're so. Kinda, we're kind of lit down, bro. Sorry. I want to tell you guys about these ones, though. So these are like your classic looking kind of Ray-Ban-ish Wayfarers. They're a little bigger than these guys. But these are modeled after a model that JFK actually wore in the 1960s. Oh, shit. So they have this little like clip on the side where you can, you know, clip it onto your shirt or wherever. Just kind of a little oh, vintage wow. accent. And they specifically made this from the plans that they got from the 1960s and made them exactly to spec the way, the same way JFK wore these glasses. That's pretty cool, dude. So, I mean, I just like something that has a little story behind it. Granted, you can find classic Wayfarers for much cheaper in pretty much any store you want to go to in the mall, but these ones have a little story and a little history, and you know, when people give you a compliment, you can tell them a little story. And now the final pair, I have these by all of our people, which are designed in Los Angeles, mm -hmm. designed, but, but made. made in Italy, okay? These are also very light. If you guys notice, I love light-fitting glasses because it's summertime, and you don't want to be heavy, you don't want to have big wafers on your, on your face, so you have nice, light frame glasses on. Those look good. These I are like cool. those a lot. They're, they're bigger than, than my typical glasses. They are dark brown with like a blue tinted lens, okay? Uh, it's, I mean, it's, it's, it's like a subtle like blue. You can't really tell unless you're like up close and personal. I like, right? those are sick though. I like the, like the thicker, they're a thicker frame yeah. than normal. And you know, most of these have been kind of streamlined and very thin. This one makes a state. That's like, yeah. that's your statement glasses without being you know, gold everywhere and... Exactly. Yes. It's, without being too loud. Yes. Like, um, the story of this whole show has been making a statement without being too loud. I mean, yeah, I mean, that, I, I, I mean that's very important. I can't stress that enough. So many guys want to, you know, be seen or be heard, you know, just by dressing loud or, or you know, coming off, yes. you, know, you know? I mean, just because you spent $200 on an off-white t-shirt does not make you stylish. I'm just going to say that right now. I mean, yeah. Nothing wrong with off-white. But, I mean, yeah, I, I feel you, dude, 100%. One other thing I will say, guys, is that, yes, a lot of these glasses that we showed you are fairly expensive sunglasses, but I do think once you have graduated high school and are in college and beyond, you need a really nice pair of sunglasses. Yeah. Kind of like you really need a nice watch, a nice pair of sunglasses, something that you can wear all the time. You're more responsible. You're not going to lose them like you would in high school or yeah. grade school. You know, it's going to be worth the investment and you're going to take care of them. And all these glasses here, like we said, are subtle but classy enough to last you five years at least. Oh, definitely, definitely. I so mean, you'll have these for a long time and you can kind of build your sunglass collection slowly. Every year get a nice pair of sunglasses and at, you know, three or four years later you're going to have one for every occasion. They're going to be super nice and they're going to look really, really good for the next five years. But I will say also don't go super, super trendy because there's some very, very trendy sunglasses right now that you can tell oh are going to be around just for this summer. And if you're going to do that, spend 50 bucks or less on those. Yeah, yeah. You know, rock them this summer, wear the crap out of them, and then realize that you're probably not gonna get much wear out of them until the style comes back in the next 15 to 20 years. Yeah, I so, mean, I mean this, this is like real talk. I mean, quick tangent. Last year I invested so much in uh, reflective lenses and I kind of went overboard. I just gave away about 10 pair. All right guys, so that pretty much wraps up the video for our most complimented sunglasses of summer. Um, we will have links to all these down below and we will have try to have a few links to some more affordable versions that look very similar for you guys that are still, you know, balling on a budget. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to subscribe if you have not hit that subscribe button. We are trying to make it to 100K and we are almost there. So once again, like us on Instagram, at Jens Lounge. Leave us a comment over there. Hashtag your pictures, hashtag Jens Lounge. We'd love to check out what you guys are wearing and what you guys are styling with. And uh, yeah, once again, thanks for watching, guys. Thanks. Cheers.